a group of researchers decided to grow the tiny human brains that we can grow from stem cells in an egg, and it is possibly the best paper I have read in a very long time. In case you are not familiar, one of the biggest problems that scientists have growing the tiny human brains is that they don't last that long, they almost always expire of hypoxia. And vascularizing them has been challenging. Now chickens do not have a placenta. So they end up vascularizing with the tissues of an egg in order to exchange oxygen with the outside world. I see where they got this idea and it is honestly brilliant. As you go through this paper, it is very obvious that the people in this lab work with chickens. So they took a fertilized egg and they cut a little hole on top. They would then just pop a slightly mature brain organoid right in there. It amazes me that it doesn't matter if it's a chicken or a human brain, it'll just vascularize, but I don't work with chickens. Now this is a Jove paper. Jove, if you're not familiar with that, is a website where we essentially let methods go to die. It's essentially a method that was no longer useful, but you spent so much time and effort on it, you just wanted people to see it. Turns out you can incubate a brain organoid at the same temperature that you incubate a chicken. Some of the directions on here are just hilarious to me, like don't forget to put a bigger bandage on. Now some of the results were surprising, like they're younger brain organoids, so the ones that were transferred earlier on in the process of development survived better than the older ones, which is contrary to what people have seen with grafting them onto brains. Usually the more developed ones do a little bit better. And then what is possibly the best line I've ever read in any paper, even though egg rotation seems mandatory for the proper development of the chicken embryos, during incubation it is necessary to avoid it after puncturing the air chamber. Okay, so you don't really need a healthy chicken if you're just growing a brain organoid. That shouldn't even be a concern. It'll still develop, but I appreciate that they included that in there. If one is somebody who works with chickens, I imagine that's a big concern. So what they actually found is that yes, the brain organoids would vascularize with the chickens. It probably also does have quite a bit of chicken cells now contaminating it. Jove papers usually don't go into much detail, it's just representative results, this is what we did. I am going to send them an email because there's some things I want to know too, like how much human brain tissue ended up in the chicken, if any at all. Now the reason it probably ended up on Jove is because there are now better methods to vascularize a brain organoid, including what seems to be the best method, which is just pop it in the head of something else. Human brain organoids have been popped into the skulls of macaque monkeys and mice and rats. They did say that they chose these methods because rejection was unlikely, and I'm not entirely sure what rejection looks like in a chicken, but amino insufficient animals are usually used when these kinds of grafts are done. That is done out of an abundance of caution. The brain is not a likely place to have rejection anyway, but we are talking about popping an entirely different organism together. I do also want to reiterate, even though it ended up on Jove, it is still a really brilliant idea. I'm I'm impressed. Are you carrying on? Mm -hmm.